Okay guys, welcome back to Nursing Routines. Let's jump into it right now. Okay guys, so what you need to know about Cushing's disease is that Cushing's disease is basically just a disease of increased cortisol. The increased cortisol is the main thing of Cushing's disease. And we'll get into like Addison's where that's the exact opposite later on. But right now you need to know that Cushing's disease is an increase in cortisol. So what are these things that can cause the increase in that, cort uh, that cortisol? We have pituitary tumors, stress, trauma, anything that can increase your cortisol is something that can cause Cushing's disease. We have drugs as well, which prednisone. So guys, just remember that Cushing's disease is an increase in an overproduction or increase from somewhere in the cortisol. Okay, so now let's move on to, to more things to look out for with uh, Cushing's disease. We're gonna have decreased coagulation right here. They're gonna bleed easier. They're gonna have the red blotches on the skin, on the face, in the small capillaries. We're gonna have a decrease in white blood cells. We're gonna have an increase in infection risk because of that. Decrease in the red blood cells as well, which we're gonna have some anemia. And we're also gonna have an increase in water retention, which is gonna cause an increase in weight, blood pressure, increase your labs. So guys, I want you to keep that in mind when going over Cushing's disease. Keep the the main part is that it's an increase in cortisol. So if that increase in cortisol happens, we're gonna have a decrease in coagulation, a decrease in white blood cells, and a decrease in red blood cells. So knowing that, knowing that how nursing schools are given, or how they do the test, we need to know what are the nursing considerations and nursing interventions for Cushing's disease. I don't want to get too caught up in the science, so I'm going to go into the nursing interventions. So one of the things we got to watch out for with Cushing's disease, or not watch out for, but as far as the interventions, we're going to tell them to increase their iron intake to help the clotting from the decrease of the coagulation. So we're going to tell them to increase the iron. We're going to tell them because of the decrease in white blood cells, stay away from sick people. We're also gonna tell them, as nurses, we're gonna monitor every day, daily weights. We're gonna monitor lab values to watch this sodium and potassium with that increase in, um, increase in that water retention. So we're gonna have daily weights, lab values, uh, watch the lab, we're gonna watch the sodium and the potassium because that water if you have that water retention, you can either decrease it or increase it in certain situations. And also, with all that water retention, we're gonna have an increase in blood pressure. So if you have that increase in blood pressure, you know, you may wanna give some little beta law, something that's gonna bring that blood pressure down. Um, so guys, that was just a quick thing, a quick uh, touch up on Cushing's disease. Hope you guys liked it. We're gonna get into Addison's next. Stay tuned.